Good afternoon, Grace Covenant, and welcome to our time together for this devotion on Friday. Glad you could join me. There's been a word that, that I have wrestled with, particularly this week, uh, partly because of the continued escalating rhetoric of our political system, partly because the ongoing pandemic and living with so many unknowns, partly because seeing the um, continued unrest and yet another act of violence against a black man perpetrated by authorities. Um, there's so much going on in our world. And the, the word that, that I have been wrestling with is fear. And how that word fear um, and all that that means affects me, how I should be handling fear as a person of faith. We live in a society that basically plays on our fears. And we tend to be people of fear. Um, everything from from home alarm systems to um, vitamin supplements to keep us healthy are sold based on fear. I was literally thinking about all of this today and preparing what I wanted to say and my Facebook uh, notification came up with one of those silly little games that you play and you punch in your date of birth and it'll tell you um, everything you need to know about yourself. And this one today said, what do people fear most about you? That was the game. Click on it, put in the information, and the, the miracle of the internet will tell you what people fear most about you. We are a society just consumed with fear. Now, mind you, there is healthy fear, and there is unhealthy fear. We have within us that, that innate ability to fight or flight, that, that self-preservation. Um, scripture tells us that the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom, that understanding and respect of who God is is where wisdom begins. And yet we're people of fear. And I have particularly felt it this week as we continue, even in this pandemic, even after weeks and weeks of uh, protesting and, and thinking that we're making headway with Black Lives Matter and trying to deal with our own um, ingrained white supremacy, to see these things coming back, to listen to the political rhetoric that's going on and the scare tactics of, of trying to manipulate us by fear. And I also find it rather interesting that a lot of the people who will claim to be people of faith, uh, oftentimes it's the people who won't wear a mask because they say, God will protect me. And those same people want to wave a gun in the air. And if God's protecting you, what do you have to fear? If God's gonna protect you without a mask, then will God not protect you without a gun? Um, just a lot going on as I think about what's happening this week. But I keep coming back to these irrational fears that can grip us and paralyze us. And those are the fears I want us to think about today. Um, not to dwell on them, but to get a grip on them and not let them get a grip on us. Um, Scripture is full, just page after page. You can go through every page of the Bible and almost on every page of the Bible, you will find the words, fear not, do not be afraid. Again, I think because human nature is, we are fearful and God knows we need to be reminded not to be afraid. And so I find it comforting to be able to open scripture and to remind myself of God's love and care 
even in the, these difficult times. And the scripture that really came to me today is from Isaiah chapter 43. The first few verses say this. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, and you are precious in my sight. Scripture also tells us that perfect love casts out all fear. And learning to love perfectly, I think, is a lifelong endeavor. And I'm not naive enough to think that we're going to magically remove all the fear from our lives. But as we continue a, a level of self-awareness in this pandemic time, as we have a healthy fear and respect for a virus and wear our mask, as we look around us and acknowledge the way culture tries to play us and play on irrational fears, I hope that we'll let the irrational fears go, face the real fears with wisdom and guidance, and that we will work to continue to practice love in all things, knowing that eventually when that is perfected, it will cast out all fear. So Grace Covenant, do not be afraid. Remember that God loves you. Stay home if you can. Stay safe. Continue to be connected. And know that you are loved. Thanks be to God.